All right, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to have a lot of fun. I'm gonna finally update the firmware on my Speedwino. I'm gonna walk you through that process, show you how easy it really is. A lot of times uh, some of these step-by-step, -step, you know, written directions seem a little bit, let's just say daunting. All right, let's have some fun. I'll show you. This is something that I've had a few people ask and uh, as well as I just need to do it personally. I'm still running on a, Firmware from a few months ago. So let's have some fun. You can see over here. So here's my car. I've got the trusty old beater laptop set up. So we're gonna go through and uh, I'll walk you through that process. I'm gonna switch to some screen recording. Just to start off with though, you'll notice that we have the little Arduino and uh, we'll get that up and going. Here's what you're gonna see. If you've done this before, you're gonna see a screen with your old project open. This is what you're gonna see if this is your first time around and how it's gonna work there. What I'm gonna do is I'll show you right here. I've got the new project open. I just simply uh, went up to the top, file open, went and found the speed window, uh file that is not under the reference tab. It'll be underneath the Speedwino folder and it will be an INO file and it'll be labeled Speedwino. So make sure you open that. When you do, you'll see all these tabs across the top. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start off by clicking the verify button. Now you don't have to verify every time. If you hit the one button to the right, uh, the upload button, it will verify and upload at the same time. But I wanna do this to kind of show you the process. As I was getting used to this, I ran into a couple of I guess, learning curves. The first one I had is uh, you'll see this error pop up here in a moment after I finish verifying and move to the upload stage. But I found out that if I had Speedwino connected to the Arduino, then I would get this timeout error. I couldn't figure out why. I could disconnect the battery, I would still get the error. The only way I could do this is to disconnect the Arduino and then do the upload when it completely off the circuit board. Now, I'm sure there's someone that can explain to me why this happens, and I would love to know. Just drop a comment, shoot me an email, whatever. Uh, let me know why that is, because I'm kind of curious. I wondered if it had something to do with how I set up my reset control, and I'll show you that here in just a moment. Um, but you'll see here, uh, I'm about to get that air. It's gonna air out any second now. And there we go. So here's the air. And uh, what I'll do now is pull out the Arduino. We saw that air from last time. It's still hanging around at the bottom of the keys there. So I went ahead and pulled out the Arduino from uh, basically from the Speedino unit. And you can see here my reset. Now it's kind of a lazy reset, but this is essentially I ran a wire from the reset all the way over to pin number 43. And that's how I get it so that when I connect, to my computer. It's not constantly resetting and turning off the engine every time I have to upload. So uh, we're gonna have a little fun now. We're gonna run through this again and uh, I'll show you some of the things that I'm doing to overcome this. Basically in this case, I just have to go in there and hit the upload button one more time and that will take care of it. It's gonna upload this time with no timeout errors, no issues like that. So we're done uploading. I've got that set there. The bottom of the screen gave me the done uploading. And uh, now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna open up the Tuner Studio project and get that going. So I've got Tuner Studio open. I'm gonna go ahead and just open up my last project. See it loading up here. Uh, one of the things you're gonna notice though is once it connects, you're gonna get a lovely little pop-up window. There it is, it says uh, basically the firmware you just need to update it. So I'm gonna go down there, I'll update it. You're gonna go through and find the specific file. Kind of like what we did before where we found it underneath uh, the Speedwino tab. This time it's gonna be the reference tab. And then inside of the reference tab, you'll be able to find the INI file, which is what you're gonna be using. And once you upload that, it'll go through the process and uh, a lot of times it will go through there when it connects again and it could give you a kind of variance report. More often than not, if you're using the project that you just very recently opened with, you're gonna wanna send it Tuner Studio settings. If there are a few things that do get corrupt during the process of everything that it's doing. 
The most recent one that I always find is uh, required fuel. I found that my required fuel from sometimes if I'm using anything that doesn't match my normal, um, you know, milliseconds, if I'm using alternating two stroke, not a problem or two uh, squirts, it's not a problem. But if I'm doing anything different than that, a lot of times it pulls the millisecond column, the grayed out box there, and it populates that into my normal required field. Uh, you'll see here it's connecting now. Everything's good to go. Um, I do still have just the Arduino by itself, so that's why you've seen some really crazy values. Once I plug this back into the board, we'll be good to go. Um, I'll do a follow-up video shortly to show you how it's running and driving. One of the main reasons I did this update is to kind of take advantage of some of the new features, and there's a couple of them that I'm excited to test out. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I'm excited to show you some of these cool features that are coming up. Let me know if there's anything specific that uh, you want me to cover or talk about. Um, I've been working on the, the turbo project a little bit and the gated shifter that you probably saw in the previous video, but uh, it's coming up just for fun. I might have to do some, uh, yeah, some blooper reels here at the end. I wonder if I'll ever do bloopers. That's always fun. I'm back. Wow, that was sad.